So I'm a man who likes to indulge every now and again. You know, I, I dabble. And at the moment, I've got a guilty pleasure. Now, you're probably thinking of him, but the size of you, is it some chocolate? Like, no, because I've been doing that my whole life. But um, Love is Blind is a reality show on Netflix. It's couples, essentially. They, they walk in. It's a load of blokes, a load of birds. They walk into this place and there's pods. So they go in there and they start talking to each other behind a wall. So it'd be, let's say, uh, Jack and Stephanie. They'd be talking behind a wall and they can never see each other. So they go and have dates with loads of people and all of that. And eventually, the bloke proposes behind a wall without never seeing his wife. So they build a connection without ever seeing each other. So he might have talked to 20 blokes and he goes, you know what? No, 20 blokes, well, he could swing that way. He might have spoke to 20 women and go, you know what? She's the one for me. I've built an emotional connection through the two weeks we've had. And then he proposes at the end without ever seeing each other. And then through that, after that, they go on like romantic vacation. They live together until eventually they get to the wedding and they either say, I do or I don't. But I've got a big problem with this show. Now, thing is, we love is blind. It, it, it's good entertainment. It actually hooks me in. It's shit TV, but it gets me going. Not in a dodgy sort of way. But um, this woman on here, this woman on here. Now, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with her because the like, one episode in, or it might be two, right at the start of the series anyway, she comes in, sits down, and essentially she starts calling herself fat and slagging herself off. And the producers have let this run because they've built an arc with her that she's a fatty, essentially. This is the arc they've built. And it fucking winds me up. It winds so much. If she's fat, what am I? A fucking hippo. Excuse my language. But you know what? They did the same with Love Island. They got a bird in. It was perfectly normal. If she's obese, then, you know, what's Humpty Dumpty? They're taking them, but they did exactly the same on Love Island. So, essentially, uh, she's slightly more curvy, but she is not fat. If she's fat, then I don't know, mate. My willy is bigger than her, and I've got a micro. Are you joking me? Um, but, yeah, she seems lovely as it is. She's a bit, um, she's a bit the thrown ass, but apart from that. And then we've got this couple, Colleen and Matt. Now, Matt, in a previous relationship, get this, he's been married before, he's divorced, he was married before, and his wife was cheating on him, phoned him up and said, I'm pregnant from another bloke. As they were married. But he's a fucking nerd. He's the most controlling bloke ever. Let's just have a look at, you know, if I Google him on YouTube, I searched in Love is Blind Season 3 Matt, and this is what we've got. We've got Run Collie, Matt has anger problems. As we can see, he's a nutter. Matt admits to overreacting. Ex exactly. He's clearly a nutter, boys. He is clearly a fucking nutter. Matt has crazy in his eyes. Essentially, this is going to sound mental. So Matt, um, all the blokes, all the girls, this is after this is, this is when they're living together. They, they met up, this is a couple of days before all their weddings and they went, you know what? We're going on a big night out. The blokes are going on a night out. The women are going on a night out. And all the girls said that they're going to the club and the blokes agreed. Yeah, that sound. I think they were going to go somewhere. Ended up going home. They get home. Matt starts kicking off that Colleen isn't also at the hotel. He is literally kicking off that she's not in the hotel, even though they've agreed to this. But because he's such a nutty, he's forgot. He's forgot that the girls have agreed that they're going to a club and you won't believe it. geezer has got the suitcase out and he's packing his bags. I'm not joking you. He is packing his bags. He's going mental. No one of the geezer has to come over to calm him down. His suitcase, his clothes are like a fucking pogo stick. They're hopping in and out of that suitcase willy-nilly. And I'm not even joking. It's ridiculous. He just goes mental. He did it before as well because he's having a convo with another bloke and called him cute. It was lit. Yeah. So the first time, um, his missus, his fiance, called another bloke cute who was hitting on her. And it was literally the most awkward convo ever. And she was just going, yeah, you're also cute. One of them malarkeys. She did nothing wrong. And he is throwing his fucking toys at the pram. He goes absolutely wild of it. He is what they call an arsehole. He's so controlling. Anything happens and the geese is kicking off. He can't handle it. I just can't believe it. I get vibes that he is very, very controlling. And he's the sort of bloke who you'll find a new story. He's killed his wife and her two children. He is an absolute nutter. This show just breeds weirdos. You've got the... Oh, my God. So he's called Batiste, I think. Wow, wow, he's just... So he goes out with Nancy, and I shit you not, he was going to Nancy. I just don't find you attractive. There's another girl I like more than you. 
There's another girl I find more attractive than you. You know, you're just not my type. I don't find you attractive. Basically, he's slacking off her appearance to to her face. It was horrible because she is, you know, she, she's a beautiful woman. I would not say no if she wanted to indulge, although she's in her 30s. So, yeah, he, and then he's literally saying that to her and she's just clearly like blinded by the love or something. Always got a massive wong on him. She just takes it. She literally just takes it. Which probably not the only thing she's taken. I've heard about their old, you know, if you get my point. But yeah, she just takes it as he's literally slagging her off to her face. So this show is absolutely nuts. And I mean nuts. Boys, if you didn't enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel. If there's anything else you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.